All right, welcome back to another episode. So I hope you had a fantastic weekend wherever you are. So in today's episode, we're going to jump into uh, the Bitcoin price. In just a second, the key levels we need to get past in order for us to flip uh, back into a bullish uh, short-term momentum. Of course, towards the end of this year, I, I do expect us to start traveling towards that 100K level. So if you're new to the channel, please go ahead, subscribe, uh, leave a thumbs up, any comments in the section below for everybody uh, that is watching this video and uh, whoever's following me or not. I do appreciate the comments in the comment section below. I do try to read them uh, and respond to them as much as possible. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into what's going on with the Bitcoin price. So over the course of the weekend, um, we did remain pretty stable. Um, on Friday, we did jump all the way up to 60K, like we said on the Thursday. Thursday uh, Thursday's video, I did mention the fact that we need to head past uh, 60K, try to get a bounce off it for us to go, start going back to that 64K uh, level. So we'll talk about why we have uh, dumped in just a second. If we go over to the uh, Bitcoin monthly returns, we're still in the red for September. I don't expect anything massive uh, to happen. Right across the board today, everything is in the red and the fear and greed index is sitting at 36%. So for me, I'll be in the next four to seven days, jumping into uh, different altcoins because I believe when October hits, then we're going to start seeing something like this, this and this in Bitcoin. And when that happens, then the rest of the altcoins will absolutely pop as well. So over on the Bitcoin dominance, we're still at 58%. It's not great if you're in altcoins because obviously the, the dominance is uh, everybody's in, in, in Bitcoin um, and less uh, volatile assets. So what we do need to see as mentioned last week, we do need to come back down um, to these levels uh, below 50% in the 40 level around here would be phenomenal for um, the altcoin. So my message to you is if you are in altcoins, dollar cost average, and just be patient, uh, probably, not probably, 98% of the, the time, this these levels here are fantastic buying opportunities and altcoins, it might sound a contradiction, because altcoins are suffering right across the market. But as the dominance is all the way up here, obviously the altcoins are at uh, bear market prices, all time lows in some cases. They haven't really got going yet uh, with rallies or an altcoin season. And when this thing comes crashing down, that's when the altcoins will start popping. So if you're jumping into positions now, dollar cost averaging into altcoins, it is the best moment. It's not the easiest moment to, to buy, but it is the best moment because if you start buying altcoins down here when Bitcoin is all the way down at 40 to 45 percent, then it's going to be too late. You've missed out on, um, I don't know, 10x, 20x, 30x. It's probably already finished. You'll be jumping into altcoins when Bitcoin comes down here. You'll be jumping into altcoins when most of the altcoins have already done a 10 to 50x and in some cases 100x with the micro caps. So to get the 100x micro caps, it is um, it's trying to find that diamond in the rough. I'm not going to tell you uh, which coins they are because I have no idea. But have a portfolio of different altcoins, not too many, but just enough. Um, in, in my case, in, in AI, the crypto, and also in gaming. So I've been dollar cost and averaging into AI and gaming over the last year or so. Um, I mean, if you've been following me, you know that. And eventually, when these things absolutely pop, we can start seeing a 10x, 20x, in some cases, even 50x in, in, in AI and in gaming as well. It's so undervalued in terms of market capitalization for both things. I mean, uh, gaming is uh, sitting around, what's this, 16 billion. And then, of course, in AI, we are sitting around, I think it's a bit higher, uh, market cap than the gaming we are around what is this 29 billion so I do expect eventually AI and gaming to be a, a, a trillion dollar asset together and then eventually over the next 10 years even higher than that so if you're in into those uh, type of cryptocurrencies when the dominance comes crashing down 
that's when you'll be making your 10, 20, 30x. But if you start buying those altcoins when the dominance is all the way down here, at 40% to 45%, those gains have already come and gone, basically. So now is the time, even though it's difficult to buy when everything's in the red, now is the time to jump into those type of uh, assets. But not financial advice, of course. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. Read the disclaimer below. 98, 99% of people do lose uh, their money. So going over to Bitcoin, why did we see this um, drop? There's several factors. The main one for me is because in um, a few days now, I think it's on the... 18th, so that's on Wednesday the 18th. We're going to have the FOMC meeting. It's scheduled for this week. It doesn't say the date here, but I believe it's the 18th. And uh, the Federal Reserve's impact on the crypto markets could play a part in this. So market analysts are closely watching the Fed meeting scheduled for this this week, as many investors anticipate a potential rate cut from the Federal Reserve. So. Like I mentioned last week, the last two weeks, the 18th of September is going to be absolutely massive, in my opinion, to see where Bitcoin is going to go in the short term. In the long term, it's going to go uh, to that six figure um, for sure. I can't say absolutely for sure, but eventually we're going to go there whether we like it or not. 99% unless a massive catastrophic event happens, a black, black swan event, um, then yeah, we could go back into a massive bear market where Bitcoin goes back into the $30,000 range. If the cycles repeat, then we're going towards that six figure uh, dollar Bitcoin. So that's something uh, massive in two days, in my opinion. That's why I'm just waiting for after the 18th to start jumping into more altcoins um, towards the end of this month. And of course, uh, coinciding with all this, uh, with the Federal Reserve uh, rate cut, we had this uh, major thing happened yesterday, um, Sunday morning, Trump playing golf and a potential assassination uh, plot. So these things can have a, a massive, I mean, these are external factors, of course, in crypto where they can play a major uh, role. So if anything happens in terms of um, Mr. Trump, then yeah, we could have uh, a black swan event in crypto. I mean. It's not just in crypto, but it's all across the market. So that was something that happened yesterday. But we're just waiting. Well, I'm just waiting for that 18th uh, to see what's going to happen. So big, big things going to happen this week, in my opinion. Either it's going to be it's going to be very volatile over the course of uh, the rest of this this week for sure. If you're trading, be careful. I don't trade on those type of events um, when the F F um, uh, E C come out with their uh, federal uh, rate cuts, etc. Um, the CPI data and all that. I never trade on the day, the day before or the day after. I just like to wait, sit and wait to see where the market's heading. So if it's bad news for Bitcoin, we could come back down and retest the $52,000 level. Um, I don't know why. I, let me just uh, draw back my bull flag. I think it was on the weekly last time we, we had the bull flag uh, drawn here. So we've got this nice bull flag that's formed over the course of many weeks now. And the target is all the way at 82, 83,000. But yeah, we could come um, back and retest these levels here of 54,000. And then of course, we've got this huge candle wick here that could get filled up depending on what happens over the next week or so. Um, 52K I'll be looking at. Worst case scenario, if we did have a dump, like a major dump, a massive shakeout before we absolutely break out in October, we could come all the way back down to these levels here of 40,000 to 44,000 US dollars. So I'm just looking at this level, mainly this level of 52,000. First of all, if we did roll over on the daily, then we'll probably, first of all, come and retest. If this is looks like a dead cat bounce, retest the uh, support now of this ball flag and hopefully get a bounce off it. So I'm just waiting for this level down here. Worst case scenario, we'll come back down to 52,000 where I'll be buying up more Bitcoin. It's not worst case scenario. 
worst case scenario is this for me, uh, 42,000, where I'll be definitely buying up more Bitcoin and I'll definitely have a, um, a trade open, a very low leverage, maybe 3x to 5x on Bitflex. If you need my Bitflex link in the description, you can find it in the description below uh, and also buy a bit. So if it goes down to those levels, even 52, 42, I'll be looking at jumping into a swing long position. Um, and let's see if we uh, if we do get a bounce first of all off that fifty three thousand nine hundred dollar level uh, to see if we stay in this channel. So this uh, bull flag still playing out. Um, let's see what this week brings. But I do expect a massive uh, amount of volatility um, jumping into the market because of the news this week. So that's for the uh, the bearish uh, situation. The bullish, if we go to the daily. We definitely need to jump past uh, the level of resistance of 60,000, like I mentioned uh, last week, and then try to hold it. But we just got rejected at it. Um, but yeah, if we can try and reverse this today or tomorrow, and we do come back above uh, the $60,000 level, then we want to get a bounce off it, like I mentioned last week, Thursday. And then we can start talking about that $64,000 level, where we're going to have this resistance here. And then, of course, the top of the bull flag. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, I will not be trading this week because of all those events uh, happening, especially on Wednesday. I expect it to be quite volatile this week in crypto. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the, the comments uh, section below. So that's pretty much it for today, guys and girls. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you for listening. And I will be with you hopefully tomorrow with another video. So enjoy your Monday and see you next time. Bye bye.